I mean, being artist itself is not only one way is right, or is nothing is like wrong or bad or good. I think that being an artist is as much as a lifestyle as it is producing work. You know, where like everyone kind of has their finds their path on where that balance point is. Uh, permaculture, natural building, art, craft, community, these things I want to bring together um, in a space and an environment. The main emphasis that my parents placed on us was to be happy. I want to make my life just making and selling my work. So being part-time gives me still like freedom to make my work. But then the freedom to make work has come through teaching and like and working at universities for money. And I enjoy it, but I'm way in debt. School's motherfucker, you know, super expensive. Yeah, I could have bought a small house. You know. All these artists we have, it's really very tough for them to survive. And they are just struggling one way or the other to find something else to do. So they are not doing that because they are happy or they are enjoying it. Like maybe I might be doing mine because I built coffins back home. But when I move out, or maybe sometimes back home, I try to build something which, you know, represents something on my own, you know. I try to feel free to do something. They don't have that time to do that because they live on that. They survive on that. And they have to feed their family from that. You know, when I was 20, 22, I was fine living like pretty, I was fine with living like a very frugal, lifestyle in order to like make this happen as a maker and now as like this old 26 year old um, coming to the realization of things like yeah like you don't you know I don't need a car but like how like what would that open up for possibilities in my life or like I've never traveled outside North America and like how that would inform me my perspective, my life, my approach to my work. Um, I stress a lot about finances. I stress a lot about retirement, about health insurance, about feeling okay coming from a family and a culture that promotes and trains you to have a nine to five from the time you're in, you're in kindergarten, you're taught to sit down and shut up and obey and don't doodle. That's really deep. And it's not, we don't have a system that's set up to support someone that isn't going to push paper, isn't going to wear a uniform. In Ghana, it is really something um, all families are willing their children you know to be to be in a white color job you know a profession that would you know they would come out uh, very clean and you know not like a carpenter or you know it's it's not really something which is very much admired by um, 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 a lot of people so I really have to fight back to be who I am today but yeah, living on a fixed income basically is what it's like being an artist, you know, you don't always know where the next year's salary is going to come from, but you just have faith. So every year, the summer is tight, like always hard, and always come to... I have this much money in the bank account, and do I want to buy a cigarette? Do I want to buy a banana? I do always like come to this much like a close like yeah I need the food perhaps just quit that. As much as it's still something I feel strongly about or have a passion for it's like the passion to work a hundred hours a week for five dollars an hour isn't there anymore like reality has set in that there's a lot more to life than being in a wood shop. I think it's harder for me to build up some or any type of relationship because from one place to another and 
it's always like it takes three six months to build up some type of relationship like with students or like professors or just a casual friends then I leave that kind of I learned if I really do love someone then like I can't really focus my work if I can eliminate being involved in that relationship just teaching and making then I think I am the happiest person I would love to get into a relationship but it would be very tough for her to really understand because at least in a year I have to move like two or three times and I do that not because I enjoy doing it but that is part of my heart. We've made an agreement early on or like an understanding that this is our lifestyle we're both artists and that to succeed in what we want to do we need to take advantage of opportunities sometimes all over the country or all over the world. It feels really good to know that I have a partner that understands uh, what it means to do to live this way and but it's just hard to do you know but it's always easier for the person that's on the road you know like when you're at home and your partner's like you know doing something awesome like a residency you're like oh man this kind of sucks you know but then when you're the one that gets to be out here like we're like I'm the one being filled with all the new experiences right now. I used to think that I would be married by now and that I would have a house by now and that I would have one kid by now and maybe my second one at 32. I don't feel like I am prepared to have kids. I find it very hard to really spend time with my daughter. I do spend some time with her but not as much as she wished. For the past three years, it's been very tough to, you know, share something, and that is affecting her academically. And the problem was, I haven't stayed more than, you know, this period, I mean, like more than two months or something. Normally, it should be six weeks or something, but I've stayed more, and um, she was a bit like, what is happening? Uh, so she is a bit confused. So what I do is every morning I speak with her so she knows I'm still around. I mean, I'm not around, but I've traveled. She knows I'm, I'm, I'm out of the country. It seems really hard, you know, but everyone we talk to, it's like you talk to parents, so like, fuck, we didn't have any money when you came out, you know, and we turned out okay, we figured it out, you know, and I don't think it's about having money. Um, I think it's about being in a place in your life that you're like, yeah, balance is the real question like what what is balance and of course to each of us it's different and I think I am a pretty good source of information on how to live an unbalanced life there's a lot of like uncertainty of life just like anyone else who's in their mid-20s like what am I doing and why am I doing this and like the amount of time I spend doing these things that get appreciated by such a finite select percent of the population it's just like I think I used to be afraid of taking time away because like I wanted to keep progressing and pushing my work forward and I think I'm almost at a point with it where the way my work's gonna start to progress, like at the same rate as it once was, is to take time away and to come back to it as a better informed person about the world and my place in it. It sometimes is kind of discouraged that being artist and being so selfishly making what I want to make, and even like the people who could afford are always like wealthy people. You can buy a car. You know, sometimes like I'm spending like six months to do one and add up the time of like thousand hours and times 20, 25, no, 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 15, no, 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 10. You know, it's like sometimes like it's really hard. 
Um, I really do want to make a difference with my fame. Not being famous for the wealth you've got, but being famous for, I mean, the words you bring out that could call the memory of, you know, good things. Every time I see people's work that's really famous, I'm always disappointed. <laughs> so I don't kind of, I don't really uh, aspire to, to be that, you know. Um, I'd like to be comfortable, but you know, you have to be famous to be a comfortable artist, to make a living as an artist. And I think uh, lots of artists navigate that in many different ways. When I have to like talk about to students for their future when they ask, so how's life being an artist? I don't want to say like, well, it's tough. Shouldn't do that. I cannot, I don't want to tell them like that. But at the same time, they need to know the reality. But also, I want to leave some type of like hope. Craft and art is what makes us human and what sets us apart. Trying to like be real to yourself, be true. All those things we all romanticize about. At least like happy. <laughs> I think that matters, at least to me, and I think value is different from person to person, and you decide.